I said, I wish I could take The KBOI 2 Adventure Weather Tracker is brought to you by Peterson Chevrolet. 40 bucks a week for golf lessons. What a deal. Well, the Treasure Valley is going to be heating up in the next several days and, and appropriately enough because what tomorrow is the first official day of summer. KBOI 2's Chief Meteorologist Roland Stedham live in Boise to show us how hot it's going to get. And also, as you promised, you're going to give us some tips on how to stay cool. Those tips are coming up right now, my friend. In fact, uh, I'll tell you what, I think I wore the wrong color shirt because I'm definitely feeling the intensity of the sun on this black shirt and it starts cooking right through the shirt. With us right now, this is Sherry Iverson and Sherry is with the St. Luke's Hospital Group. And Sherry, you got some really important tips because things begin to happen as the sun angle gets higher and the temperatures get hotter here in the Treasure Valley. Tell us about that. Well, you know, with these great car seats that really keep children so safe and we want them rear facing until they're almost two. Unfortunately, it's pretty easy to put this sleeping little baby in this car seat and shut the door and be really tempted to go run a five minute errand and think they're fine inside a car in the summer. And these cars in about 20 minutes, they raise from about 85 outside to about 117 degrees inside. That is incredible. And to an infant, that's that's it's, literally like an oven, isn't it? It is oven. And little ones don't have that capacity to sweat. And so they find that they're really very, very compromised in a very quick period of time. And then we forget this car happens to have nice seats, but leather seats will get up to 125 degrees and actually even the buckles in the seats can burn. So we just can't leave babies in the car. Okay, so as Clint swings around, tell us about some of the reminders and things that you can actually do to force yourself to think, wait a second, I've got a child in the back seat. Right. I mean, nobody plans really to leave them in the back seat, or if they do, they think it's five minutes. I'm going right. to go run to the grocery store and get milk. But think about what you might use as a reminder. So if you always go with your cell phone or your car keys, put them back with your baby when you put the baby in the car seat. And then when all of a sudden you get to the store, you're like, I don't have my keys or I don't have my phone. And most importantly, I don't have my baby. The new one is your left shoe. You know, in the summer, you're not going to get very far is if when you put the baby in the car seat, you put your left shoe with the baby, you're not going to get very far when it's very hot on this pavement. That's, that's a very unique tip. I like that one because you can drive without a left shoe, but you need the left right. shoe to walk. And you know, so I think great. the thing about the cell phones is we also want parents to really be driving and be attentive. So it's very tempting to keep your cell phone and you check it. But if it's sitting with your baby, that's a great reminder. That's a good reminder. The bear, yeah. some parents have the bear in the car seat. When the bear, then the baby goes in the car seat, the bear goes in the front seat with you, and then that's another reminder. Wait a minute, it's the bear sitting with me, where's my baby? Okay, those are all great tips. Sherry, thank you very much And coming up. In our next Main Weather segment, we're gonna talk about pets. Absolutely. And we'll talk about that because they're the ones that also suffer a tremendous amount during the summer heat inside the car. Let's talk about what's gonna be happening, folks, with the seven day forecast, because as you look at the temperature readings, right now we are seeing temperature readings here throughout the Treasure Valley that are currently hovering in in the mid 80s range, super, super warm. Now with the satellite image, what you're going to note is that that low pressure center that was affecting us has pretty much moved away. So that is now allowing high pressure to build in across much of the region. And with the high pressure in place, those temperature readings have to warm up. Now we are going to see occasional little weak disturbances kind of sliding by from the northwest. It'll cause temperatures to fluctuate a little bit here and there, but around Monday and Tuesday of next week, high temperatures are easily going to be pushing into the low 90s range. Here's the seven day forecast then for the Treasure Valley. Highs are gonna be approaching 87 degrees tomorrow. We'll keep that about the same on Friday. Average high temperature for this time of the year is now 83 degrees, okay? So plenty of sunshine expected. In fact, this weekend I think is gonna be very nice and sunny, but you'll note on Saturday, it drops down to 83. A little weak dry front just kind of helps to cool temperatures off just a bit. And then on Sunday, it jumps up to 87. Look at what happens on Monday and Tuesday, 93, 90 and 91 degrees on Wednesday. Up in the high country, temperature readings are gonna be right around the low to mid 70s here for the next few days. There is a slight chance of a late afternoon shower or isolated thunderstorm that will occur up in the mountains tomorrow late afternoon. And then mostly sunny skies expected in the forecast here with highs, oh boy. Next week in the mountains approaching 80 degrees. So the weather's going to be fantastic here in the days to come. So as we come back to the live shot right now at Quinn's Pond, actually this is Esther Simplot Park. Quinn's Pond is just on the other side of the road. 
You can see the folks are just swimming, hanging out in tubes. What a great way to cool off. And remember the little kids, little ones especially, got to wear life jackets. This, this lake and this pond can get very deep very, very quickly, but it is a fantastic jewel that we have here in the Treasure Valley is this entire park. And I think everybody's discovered that because there's not a place to park out here today, guys. It's super, super packed. So that's the way things are shaping up. We'll talk about that pet safety trip or see tricks, not tricks, tips. tips. Yes. <laughs> see, the sun's getting to me. I need to drink some water, but we'll talk about pet safety tips coming up in just a few minutes. Brent, back to you. I can't believe you didn't I take your uh, swimsuit down there. I was going to say if I get down